What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Kobe, and I got my boy with me, uh, <laughs> Mr. No Introduction Needed. You feel me, Justin Marlowe. We got uh, a little something special for y'all. We've been seeing some of y'all um, actually inbox me about this too. Y'all see, I want to see something about R. Kelly. So R. Kelly, what I did man. was I just put up the highlights of that of that interview he just did when he just got out. So let's see what he's talking about. We are gonna get straight to it. We ain't no think the man is guilty. Yes or no? Just comment. Yeah, below, we can. Just... We could talk about it real quick. I think. I think his ass guilty. I and he from my city. Yeah, well, I think that nigga guilty as hell. Cause I, look. He from my city. He make our city look bad. We ain't, we not, we don't like nobody touching no kids, no, mm -hmm. no pedophiles, none of that. I mean, man, that's not how we come. So look, R. Kelly, we gonna watch the highlights. I ain't gonna lie, brother, man. I'm sorry you said I ain't gonna say nothing at all. You did it, nigga. <laughs> God damn it. But we ain't gonna get into it. All right. All right, so let's start this bit. Hold on. Damn, man. It's, they, they getting him. They getting him. I'm gonna make sure turned up. Agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? I'm very tired of all of the um, lies. I've been hearing things. And <laughs> hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's the first thing you said? I'm here. You're tired. <laughs> hold on, you turn that down before we get copyrighted. <laughs> Alright, we back. We ain't trying to get copyrighted, y'all. You know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God. Um, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> all of them. That's, that's how you know he's lying. That's how you know. Helicopters over my house. <coughs> trying to you live in a movie um, life. rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house. Handcuffing people, starving people. I have a harem, uh, what you call it, a, um, a coat. Uh, Cold really leader on Kale. Like yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think leader Kale. I don't you think you was doing all that. Like, the the coat and all that wrong. bullshit. Cold wrong. leader Kale. When it come to women, that I <laughs> apologize, but I apologize in those relationships. At the time I was in the relationships, have you okay. broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. The six okay. series interviewed 50 people. Hold on, hold on, Kelly. Now hold on, Kelly. You gotta absolutely not. Like you sound guilt you sound guilty, my dude. Like I ain't I ain't gonna shit go to no Kelly. other way. They caught you. They caught you, man. When you when you marry uh Leah, man, now, I, I don't know if y'all forgot about that. But you broke the law by guy. You really did. So anything you say after this point. It's question. This boy married Aaliyah at 13. Mm-mm-mm. We, we gonna play the bank. We gonna play the clip though. Something in my eye, y'all. Uh, we back. Family members, your former tour manager, off the screen. numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. Everybody <laughs> said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Mm. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes. But I'm not a devil. So and by no means am I a monster. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife. Mm. Kitty Jones. Lisa Van Allen. Lizette Martinez. Jerron DePace. Faith Rogers. Asante McGee. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about, about you is true. Home. They are lying on me. Why oh, would these women say the same thing about same. That you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress. You mean let them leave the Why room. Why would all these women tell these different stories about you? He was married if they to were him. Not true, and they don't know each other. Damn, that's that dominance. That that's, logic I wonder to what when his birthday. Right. That's that dominant shit. I'm like the explanation. You can start a rumor on a guy like me or a celebrity. Just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so and so did this to me. R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if you if you're able to write a book from that, if you're able to get uh, a, a reality show, then any girl that I had a relationship in the past, right, he just I, mumbling just on and out. on. Now I'm gonna have to she can come skip and say ahead the same a little exact bit. Thing. Are you so based on social media, what you what you gotta so, skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, you can skip ahead. He basically saying if this is what if it's so easy for them to do this now, anybody he ever mess with man will can and will and trying to just do this to him. I mean that's what he's trying to say. All these people that's probably the reason um, that they coming from because they opportunity to get their parts, the money. He probably don't like I, I can say this. I, I, I feel that though. The kid thing is one thing. That's a whole different thing. Like you can't go there. But I feel that though. I feel that. But they all saying they don't know each other, so I don't know, buddy, man. It's the, hey, 
Let's see what they're Robert. talking about or not, because he was just explaining this show. So I think the point you're making is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. They, why would I? Well, I'm, I'm, How stupid would you never have R. Kelly? With all I've been through in my way, way past, to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. That's a lot of motherfuckers well, in the crib, bro. Right, well, but he do they have a like, big crib. Yes, Olympia Field, that's the suburb. Is this camera on me? Yes. That's stupid. Use your common sense. <laughs> Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about it. Hate me if you want to, love me if you want, but just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my very stupid, crazy past of what I've been through? Oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes. Um, now, what? Oh, he, very, that's but that's I, it. <laughs> Let's see some shoes. Life. Oh, this is this is the part I saw on Twitter. <laughs> Yo, I get. Yeah. 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 Robert, you can't even hold me I said I said that sound like it's like like you're trying to sing it's like it's like a song right there a hit right there I hope this camera keep going yeah we're gonna this is not true this is that doesn't even make sense why would I hold all these women their mothers yeah massage comment comment below with y'all but Kelly's emotions remained raw it's real girls out there missing it's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped. Abducted. Okay? They really are on chain. They gonna make this they a really hit, a hit song, a hit song. They are on their wrists and they can't get out. Robert, they're ending up buried in deep. Robert, we have to have a conversation. Really, I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. Okay, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need exactly. help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes, what kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart. Because my heart is so big, people betray me, and I keep forgiving them. You sound what like you you're playing about? the victim. Hold on, hold on. You sound like right. Why? Why you sound like you're playing the victim? What are you talking about? Look what they doing to him, though. I mean, so he falling in their hands. He gonna just play the victim. What, what is he? What, he, what would you do, Coach? He saw what he like. I mean, his he did wife. That. All, all his wife's just no loyalty. I don't wife. think, bro. If it's fifty. 50 million girls saying the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, it probably know. is true, but if know. it's true, then the rest is ass. Don't let him be out here and they, they breaking even on CBN and she helping him. Yeah, he is, though. But I mean, he keep posting bail. What he going to do? What y'all want him to do? R. Kelly, <laughs> they look, tried to get R. Kelly, your time been up, bro. Look, if you if you <laughs> did it, nigga, and you out, then you probably ain't do it. But you probably did do it. But. Only. Only the court of law could tell oh, that, huh? Only the court of law could tell you that, cuz. And I can tell you, he ain't Cook County, he ain't dang so. He might beat it, y'all. R. Kelly, you do. When I listen to you, it does sound like you're playing the victim. I'm just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, <laughs> Robert, and I apologize you... for that, no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. I've said nothing. Well, we're also hearing from the family of a woman who lives with R. Kelly mm. at his home. The parents of Joycelyn Savage say that the singer not only abused but brainwashed their daughter. Mm. How you Kelly do that? Denies that? And claims it was Savage's father who gave his daughter to him at a concert. Wow. And go looking for a uh, Joycelyn Savage. I was doing my show. He brought her and asked a friend of mine to put her on the stage with R. Kelly. Make sure she's on the stage. Mm -hmm. But in a news conference this morning, the Savage family says they have no doubt that Joycelyn is being held by the singer against her will. We went from seeing you or talking to you daily or weekly to not seeing you in two years. So that is a clear indication to us and as a mother that something's definitely wrong with the situation. Mm. And we won't stop. She growing as hell. I think happens. she got his tears. Sure she is. Okay. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. We're going to cut it right there. Yeah, hey, but.
We, we, nobody gonna never know if he really guilty or really not. You guilty. know who knows? God, the man above. God, the only person that's gonna know, cause no cap, but, I, I don't even. Let's like just say this to though. Hit nothing like that, messing with little girls and stuff. But I mean, too many people said it, cause and they confirmed it. He brought her on stage. You obviously still with her, so you obviously did do this in some case. But like I said, bro. Yeah, it's too many people saying the same thing. Well, too many people say the same. And these people he know. People he like they gonna take credit. He was around them. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be slow for R. Kelly, man. Yeah, I, I, that's that's. I'm throwing in the towel for R. Kelly. That's tough. Comment below, man. What y'all think, man? Yeah, that's that's the end of this reaction video. Um, I feel bad for him, man. That's I crazy. I do feel bad for him because it's just it's just because this is music. Step in the name of love. Woo. Now we can jump in all day into the R. Kelly, but for real, like, what? then the, then the storyline behind you just like. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I I ain't gonna say what I think R. Kelly did. I want y'all to tell us what y'all think in the comment section. Below. Tell us in the comment section. Did what he do it? Think. Did he not do it? Oh y'all, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, follow, follow me on Instagram. Hey, Justin Marlowe. Y'all definitely follow Scram my boy. Spam it up, man. Say, hey, when y'all get over there too. Comment Kobe TV down there so y'all, cause I know I sent y'all over there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, we out of here though, y'all. <laughs>